Uh, good morning students i hope you all are doing fine so today in this very video lesson we shall be learning on india and its neighbors so please turn to chapter number 12 which is uh, page number 62 okay so india is a country right so we live in a country called india india is our country india is our motherland and we will also be talking about the neighboring countries that we share our boundary with okay so india is the second largest country in asia so asia is the name of a continent right so in this very continent india is the second largest country okay now india covers an area of 32 lakhs 87263 square kilometer okay it's 32 lakhs 87263 square kilometer so it extends from the snow covered himalaya from this part to the tropical rainforest to the south Okay, from this part to this part and India stands apart from the rest of the Asia it bounded from the great Himalayas to the north from this to and it stretches southwards to the tropic of cancer reduces in thickness one and into the Indian Ocean between the Bay of Bengal on the east and the Arabian Sea on the west okay okay now India covers around 2.4 percent land area in the world okay for example this is the world this is the globe okay so this is 2.4 percent of the land amount of world so this is the small part of or the small portion of the earth that is covered by india india is here and the leftover other parts other land masses are covered with another countries or our neighboring countries okay so india covers the land area around 2.4 percent so the length is from north to south is 3214 kilometer the length from north to south which we cover is 3214 kilometer okay so now from west to east from west to east is 2933 kilometer from west to east is 2000 933 kilometer okay so now let's discuss about the longitudes and the latitudes so this is clock right these lines which are straight like this this is called longitudes and the line which passes like this it is called latitudes okay so this is longitudes this is latitude now india stands between the longitudes of 68 degrees 7 minutes east and 97 degree 25 minutes is okay in the stands between the longitudes of 68 degree 7 minutes is and 97 degree 25 minutes is okay so now india is in the eastern part of the clock or the world okay why are both sides are on the east side because we are in the eastern hemisphere okay for example this is the globe this is east west north south so india is not in the middle india is in the eastern part of the globe eastern hemisphere okay so india is in the eastern hemisphere of the and globe. now coastlands what are the length of the coastlands okay the coastlands of india is 7000 516 kilometer the coastline of india is 7516 kilometer okay so now what is coastline a coastline is a land which expands near the sea close land is a land which is nearby the sea or which shares its land masses with the sea okay so these are laksadev islands and we have andaman and nicobar island okay Okay, now we'll talk about the neighboring countries okay so india has eight countries as our neighbors okay we have eight countries which we share our boundary with so they are pakistan afghanistan sri lanka bangladesh Myanmar, bhutan nepal and china these are the eight countries with which we share our boundaries okay now all these eight countries they practice their own religion, they have their own tradition, they have their own culture, right? Some practice as Christians, some Muslims, some Hindus, some Sikhs, some 
Buddhist, right? So these all eight countries have their own religion, their own culture and tradition. So after independence, India has established diplomatic relation with almost all the countries of the world, including its neighbors. That means after getting independence, India have shared a very good relation with all the countries, including those neighboring countries. That means we have a very diplomatic, very good relation with other countries okay now in detail we'll talk about pakistan so in 1947 india was partitioned and the country of pakistan came into existence okay firstly there was no separate country like india and pakistan both the indians and the pakistan we used to live together in one particular place in one country but after 1947 we have separated into two countries that is pakistan and india okay so it was separated in the year of 1947 and pakistan is in the northwest of india this part this is the northwest and pakistan is here so pakistan shares the boundaries with india the state are jammu kashmir punjab rajasthan and gujarat okay so it has an area of 7 lakhs 96,095 square kilometer okay and a population of a pakistan is 173 million people okay and islamabad is the capital of the pakistan okay what is the capital of pakistan islamabad is the capital of pakistan and the official language of pakistan is urdu the people who live in pakistan they speak urdu okay suppose in india we speak hindi so in pakistan they speak urdu and the currency of pakistan is called pakistani rupee now let's discuss about china okay now china is in the north of the india okay this part is north so china is here it has a long border with india uh, china has an area 95 lakhs 71,300 square kilometer and the population is over 1330 million okay so china has the highest population in the world so the population is 1330 million it has the largest population in the world right so beijing is the capital of china Be beijing is the name of a place and it is the capital of china okay the official language of china is Mandarin Chinese the official language the people who live in China they speak Mandarin Chinese and the money or the currency of a China is called Yuan Next up we have Nepal. So Nepal is in the north of India Okay, Nepal is also in the north part northern part of the India and it has the area of 1,47,181 square kilometer Okay and the population of Nepal is about 30 million. The population of Nepal is about 30 million. And the capital of Nepal is Kathmandu. Okay. Now the official language or the people who live in Nepal they speak Nepali. Okay. The currency of Nepal is called Nepalese rupee. 